Hey, so this is something unusual. Sylvie and Kevin here. Uh, I was talking to someone online, uh, a pro fighter, who was talking about um, he was having trouble uh, from southpaw getting teeped to his lead side from an uh, orthodox fighter. And it made me think about this footage we have in the archives from the Muay Cow Summit, where Nam Kabon, one of the greatest fighters ever, was teaching about all the things you can do when being teeped to the front side when you're in mixed stance. So I went and dug out the uh, video, um, and Sylvia and I did some uh, audio um, commentary on it. It's full of little uh, beautiful little things. Uh, Karahat's in there too. But this is from the Moikau Summit, which is something we did with patron support. The Moikau Summit was, we did about a year ago. It was in December last year, yep. And what was it? <laughs> the Moikau Summit was, uh, unbelievable. It was bringing together women from all around the world to learn the Muay Cao style from legends. Uh, and we invited um, some of the Yod Moi Ying, so best female fighters of Thailand, to come train with us as well. So in this video, you will see Nam Kabon and Karahat. Both are incredible legends of the Golden Age. And uh, Dok Mai Ba, who is one of the best female fighters in Thailand, comes in and uh, learns a bit from Nam Kabon. Uh, as well, right yeah. Again. So we've been putting up the Moy Cow Summit. I think we have five hours up already. We'll give you a link to that. You can uh, watch it on Vimeo. 100% of the sale of those videos is going to be divided among the legends and the uh, female Thai um, Yod, Yod Moy that were part of it. So if you purchase those, um, you're basically just supporting the, the great Muay Thai fighters of Thailand, male cool. and female, but this is also the kind of thing that's in the Muay Thai library project. There's over 80 hours documented, highly recommended you become a patron. Even for a dollar you get a tremendous, you get five hours of the most recent five hours of the library. Um, you can always edit up and see the whole archive. For <laughs> There's so, <laughs> so much So there. much. Yeah. So thank you for supporting us on Patreon. And I hope you enjoy this little uh, tidbit that we um, uh, got and pulled out from the archive. You'll enjoy it. He says he hopes you enjoy it because he's nice. You'll enjoy it. It's really, really good. Yeah. This is Nam Kabun Nongki Pahayut. He was golden age fighter, one of the best of the best. He held the 130 pound Lumpani title for six years. And he's teaching um, how to avoid and counter teeps. These are mixed stance teeps. Um, so Southpaw versus uh, Orthodox. And they're coming all over the place. He's showing how to dodge them off of your leg. He's showing how to swat them out of the way. But my favorite thing about how he's dealing with them is that he's off-balancing the person teeping first so that his counter is pretty guaranteed to have an effect. Well, here he's uh, spinning you, uh, the parry is to the outside so that you expose the open side of your opponent. Yeah. And then he just showed you three possible counters you could do with a cross, an yeah. uppercut, or a low kick to the back leg. That he's, low kick to the back leg looks nasty. Yes, he's doing these deep side steps to get out of the way of the teep. Um, but his arms are doing pretty much the same thing uh, you'd be doing if you didn't do the side step. Yeah, but the side step gives you a, a superior angle. And yeah, because you're moving into the part where you can do the most damage on their open side. Here he's showing how not to jump out of the way because then you lose your proximity to be able to counter. So you just want to barely get out of the way. This is a, a real femur kind of like dodge of that uh, front leg. Because when you're in mixed stance, the temptation is with the front leg to teep the front leg because mm -hmm. you're right next to it. Yeah. So he's catching it against uh, his body there, but showing how it's better oh, to get it out lean. of the way. Look at that beautiful little lean. <laughs> he looks like he's, I call this his boy band um, slide. It's so slick. <laughs> Very beautiful. See how he Ooh. keeps his guard up too on the opposite side? Like in case that it's just kind of habitual, but in case that doesn't go, he's always he's always protected. And here he is. He wants to attack on your open side. Yeah. Not the, you not attack the back or the closed side. 
So even though you're at the angle, you want to attack the... Uh, See, here you go to the closed side. I kick him in the back. That's the closed side. Yeah, so yeah. when Kevin says the open side, you're kicking someone where their belly button is facing. He's going to show you here. He's like, no, attack the open side. Oh, and don't do it all lame. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you do like three of them. He gets excited. There. He's like, I like that one. <laughs> he giggles. <laughs> He's actually such a super sweet guy. He has like a weird shyness about him. Yeah. Although he's also like kind of got superstar well, aura. Well, he's Nampon's little brother, so he's got this kind of like little brother um, effect to him. Mm, Nampon is past, but yeah. he was also a Lumpini champion. Namkabun's younger than a lot of the legends, but he was included. Well, the legends that we filmed. Yeah. yeah. Look at how he swats it out of the way. Oh. This is I my love favorite. This. He catches it and pulls it. This is something that Karahat who will jump in in a minute, is also really good at, is that you basically hyper-extend someone's trajectory. Yeah, their weight is coming forward, and you just are, like, inviting them to continue that trajectory. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little yank. Yeah. But see how on balance he is for the counter, too. You don't want to wave your arms in the air for these huge swatting things. It's right in front of you. Like, your elbows basically stay exactly where they are, and the forearms oh, do the Look the at movement. that little drawback. With, and look, he doesn't lean back. He just, his whole stance skips back. Yeah. Just six inches or something. There's Kara waiting to, <laughs> waiting to come in. Ah, uh, and now this is the beginning when he starts. It's like a little jam session. Yeah. This this pull through. So there's, there's catching it and there's swatting it out of the way. And these are getting the person off balance and changing the trajectory of the teep. But the thing about pulling it and rolling it down, mm. it makes the person spin out in a kind very of amazing way. And in a vulnerable, becoming some very vulnerable. And it vulnerable. doesn't require power. So now Namkaboon's going around and showing people we're pairing up to try to work on this a little bit. There's, you want to look at Karhat in the corner. He's just, he's like being tagged in. He's he saying looks, this is better than sweeping someone's leg. So we're going to pull Karhat in. Like gallop in. in. Look at his smile. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Magic trick. <laughs> Magic trick. Uh, I think even Don was is giggling about how amazing that was. About how hard he how spun me. Well, he ran through. <laughs> he ran through. It's like tether, it's like tether ball. Yeah. <laughs> Just goes like it wraps but around. This is a very exaggerated move that illustrates the dynamics, the body mechanics that are involved in this so, kind of thing. I'm trying to figure out which hand to grab it with. Yeah. And it, it doesn't matter, you can do both, but the difference between what he's doing and what I do right here is that I pull him to the outside of his body rather than pulling his leg across his body. Yes. When you pull the leg across the body, that's what gives you the spin out. And I struggle here working with Namkabun because I'm either throwing oh. it or pulling it down, but I'm not doing both. He pulls down and over. It's like bowling. And I think the <laughs> using two the two angles together make it uh makes your body really lose there's, control there's no way for you to stop that and you don't even have to be tense which a lot of these um sweeps and turns require the person to be tense because you're pulling on the trajectory that they already started the person can be pretty relaxed and it's still gonna make them if go. they're super on balance that might not go it's not something you do every time i wouldn't spin yeah. out as hard as i was if i was more relaxed yeah. but i'm not gonna stay standing and you're on one leg so any of those counters can go but look at the way that they're um shadowing the movement over and over again to show yes. me look at that very small movement like Karaha had the big movement Namkabun just shows you in a very small way how it works but my back ends up towards him so he yeah. totally just kick me in the face like a wrap around here's Dok Mai Ba she's one of the best female fighters in Thailand she's coming to learn it <laughs> she is look. <laughs> She's like, what the hell? Everyone thought I was getting spun out because I'm little. <laughs> Who is she pointing to? So, Bob, I mean, or so someone was laughing. I don't know. It really surprised her how much she uh, lost control of it. She understands the trajectory of yeah. it, but um, doesn't the, drop down. The pulling on someone's um, leg because they've already started oh. that movement. Look at his broad stride too. Like, yeah, his feet. Like, he totally takes this wide step. Oh, this is just some really cool... Um... Do that in a fight. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so cool. Um, so, what you just saw was... 
you just saw Namkabun and Karahat teaching the uh, counters and amazing sweeps for an oncoming teeth Kevin mentioned in mixed stance. Um, this is from the Moikau Summit, which uh, is something that we're putting up currently at this moment, but this kind of stuff is what you can see in the Muay Thai Library and what's available on Patreon and what's made possible through Patreon. So if you are not yet a patron, click on the link in the description, go check that out. It's unbelievable how much stuff there is to look in there. And if you are a patron, thank you very much for making and, this possible. And as a patron, you help produce these incredible events. The Muay Cow Summit, there was nothing like it ever done before, bringing women from around the world to train from, I don't know, we had six legends. We had Muay Cow legends in the house, just like... Day after uh, it day is after unbelievable. Day. Hanging out with each other. It like, was just unreal. Yeah. So <laughs> you make things like this even happen, bringing thing, people together, techniques being shared, shared and documented. So uh, become a patron if you're not a, if you're not a patron already. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you. That was very good.